Sneaky Luke's back today. Yeah, today. We've not got a distro today. Well, not the first one today, anyway. Today we've got a program. And today's program has been in development for ages. And this is the, at last, after a couple of years of waiting, Scribus is now at 1.4.0. Yes, I'm on release candidate 2 here. But they're getting better and better and better. So I'm going to have a quick look and show you all around it. And show you how different it is. Because it's now used the QT libraries. And so it doesn't look so chunky as it used to, okay? So we're going to have to Scribus. There we go. 1.40 release candidate 3 I've got. I lied. Now this is the only bit that looks similar, doesn't it, really? If you want to do a single page, double-sided page, or threefold or fourfold. So if you're good if you want to do posters or newsletters or anything like that whatsoever, and now it's a lot, lot easier to use. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a quick poster, and you can see how easy it is from the last one, okay? So I'll click OK, and our page comes up. So as you can see up here, very QT, isn't it? You get file and edit, and under these you get the usual of saving to different formats and import and exporting and your preferences. Under edit, there's lots of other stuff here. Now, it's not as easy as some of the really, really easy ones. But this is for, for a business, really. It's for really professional-looking stuff, okay? You can insert your text frames and your image frames, etc., etc. Do your page stuff. Under the view is what you would expect. 100%, 200%, 400%. Show what margins you want to do. And extras, you get your font real and short words. And you can add some scripts already. There's all describer scripts in there for you to use if you so wish to do so. And under the windows, you can change everything you want there too. Right. But also, you also get these in picture format. So you've got new, open, save, etc. Pre-flight verifier. Save as a PDF. You can go along and along. Insert text, insert frame, insert render frame, shape, polygon, etc. You can go along the end here, and there's loads and loads of more options. But they just made it easier to use. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do a little thing here. So I'm going to insert some text. I'm going to get me a box here first. It doesn't matter how big you do it to start with, because you can change it either afterwards, you see. So let's have a look here. We want test ODT or testy. That's the one I'm going to open. I'm going to OK that, and there I am in there. So basically, we can now resize that box to how we want it, okay? So that's that. We'll resize that again that way. We can now put that around about there, and that looks okay to me. Okay, now we're going to quickly put in some images, or an image, what we're going to do. So, get image, and we want, what one shall I have? I don't know, I'm thinking about it. This is Ubuntu image, okay? So there it is. Doesn't look quite right yet, does it? So we're going to resize that, the frame box that is. Then we can realign it to where you want it. That looks better already. I'm going to move it up a little bit as well. Okay. Now what I've done, I've pre-done some text already to go in here. So if I'm doing another box for text, I would do if I put insert text box, wouldn't I, really? So there we go. Make it about that size, that should do it. Now I'll go and get my text that I've already done for to go in my box. Test the ODT 12, OK that, and there it is. There you go, give it a read if you want to. OK, that's good, we're going to move it up. Now, I should have some room here to get a cut of images in if I really wanted to do so. So, I'm going to click on the image section again. I'll make a little box up, that should be it. We'll go and get that image, you right click that by the way, and we're going to get that one there. Because that's Ubuntu logo, that's a nice small one. You can make that a little bit smaller, that'd be fine. We can bring it to there. That's good for me. Okay, I'm going to get one more image just to fit in there. Okay, there we go. That should be big enough. Go and get our image again. Just right click for, we use the LXDE icon. There we go. Because we're using LXDE today, of course. So I thought we'd have that icon. Be good. Yeah. And there's our poster already done, really. Okay, so you can read what I wrote there if you want to. Now you say, what do I do? If I want to export that, well, I'm going to save it as a PDF because it's a lot easier to do and print and stuff like that. And if you're going to take it to a professional printer, they'll probably like it in that format anyway. So we're going to save as a PDF. Now we will come up with these errors, okay? Don't worry about it. it doesn't matter. It's still going to work. So we're going to ignore these errors, okay? And what we're going to save that as? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll save that as number 19, so we know it's completely different. So we're going to save. And it's done. Okay, that's it, end off. So if I get that rid of that there, I'll open up my file manager. And there's my little document here, PDF 19. Let's open them up. And there you go. There's our poster we've just made. 
weren't that easy and simple. It's a lot easier to use than the last one. It's not so clunky, it's not so chunky, it doesn't crash anymore. But all I would say, 1.4 will read the 1.3 images, but not the other way around. So if you go to 1.4 and don't like it, it ain't 1.3 is not going to read the images you've got there, okay? It just ain't going to work. Oh no. So yeah, go and get the new Scribus. It's really easy to use, especially if you're doing stuff like that. Nice, nice. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye, bye.